Welcome back to The Morning Show here on the Rise News. Actress, scriptwriter, and entrepreneur, Elvina Ibru has taken the entertainment scene in Nigeria to the next level. The level child of uh, late business here, the Lorogo Michael Ibru, is also in the business of youth empowerment and a nest in the creative space. The delectable actress and graduate of Theatre Arts will be joining us to talk about the business of youth empowerment through entertainment and harnessing the creative space. But before she joins us, let's see this report. Lovina Ibro, actress and daughter of prominent business industrialist Alorugu Michael Ibro. Lovina Ibro has been a formidable person in the movie industry in Nigeria, but her most recent work has received rave reviews. You, my beautiful goddess, will be Yemoja Coral everywhere. The Bling Legotian. The opening montage of the film, The Bling Legotian, readily hits the audience of what to expect. As Akin Holloway, played by Bing at Itilaya, narrates the beginning of the fall of his family legacy. Your 50 cost $1 million. Mm -hmm. That means your 50 first will be higher. Well, naturally. While Ali Austin Peters portrays Holloway as an influential and powerful family from the city of Lagos with a formidable conglomerate, St. Ives. From the decor of the offices to the cars to the ambience of the palatial home, the luxurious lifestyle of the Holloways and their societal friends were well captioned and detailed, relatively at the likes of several other billionaires in Lagos. Aki has a list of acquisitions, including choice homes across the globe, a private jet, limited edition wristwatches, and automobiles in the yacht, which he relaxes with his lover uh, to his name. The Holloways, as well as their fam society friends, have a brutal love of flamboyance, which was well depicted by Bolalos the Peters in the Blingley Goshen. Our guest today, Elvina Ibru, does a good job at starring in this movie, The Bling Legotian. So you and the children planned this in order to twist my arm so that I won't have my 51st birthday. Is that what it is? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Elvina Ibru. <laughs> Great to have you. Thank um, you. Good to Annie, be here. Annie, I can't say you're in the flush of your youth. You're doing new films, critically acclaimed, receiving positive reviews, the Bling Legosians. But you also do stage. I mean, Ninja Woman, hear what? True talk? Yes. Stage uh, is actually my first love. Exactly. Yeah. It's correct to say stage is your first love. So how do you do that transition from stage to film? Well, I look at stage uh, like a foundation for acting. You know, like with, with music, for instance. If you play the keyboards, mm -hmm. then it's not like you can just pick up another instrument and start playing. But you already have an idea of where the, the notes are. For instance, the keyboards, um, the, the flute is, is, the, is the same kind of um, arrangement as the keyboards, the guitar. You know, so I look at a stage as like a foundation mm. and a good training ground to be able to branch off into any other type of work. Well, so was this challenging for you? I mean, you had the lead role in Bling Make yeah, mm. it wasn't. It wasn't. It was such a sweetly uh, produced film by mm. Bonali Austin Peters. So that's the first thing. The first thing is that your producer knows what she's doing. Mm. So she makes life very comfortable for you. She says, come to set on so-so-so day. You're going to be there from 10 till whatever, and that is what it is. Mm. So that was already fine. Then the second thing was the script. Mm. Um, the script was so good, I, I, you know, you didn't really have much work mm -hmm. to mm. do. You were not on set trying to change lines or thinking, what does this mean or what's this got to do with, with, with anything? And because the script was good, it allowed me to be able to build my character. Mm. It allowed me to be, I, whenever I work, I, I write a backstory to the character. So nothing to do with the script. I mm. just say, okay, why is this woman like this? Where was she raised? Why is she light-skinned? Who was her mom? Is her mom still alive? You know, mm. And I keep going further and further mm. behind to, to help me understand who this person is. So mm. when I say it wasn't challenging, I mean... It, well, yeah. well, and, and apart from that film, yeah. you're allowed to make mistakes. Mm. You know, if you if you if you fumble on your line, cut, take two. <laughs> theater, that doesn't happen. Mm. So if you're coming from the discipline mm. of theater, the transition into film is actually quite relaxing. What was the casting like and the characterization like for you? In, in this particular yeah, film, in oh, relation was, to the script, I know that Bolanli spent, I think it was at least three months, trying to get the cast right. 
I know she didn't want the same old faces. I know she believes more in talent mm. than in celebrity, if mm. you know what I mean. I believe she took a chance on me, for instance. Are you the first major one? Yeah. I mean, I've done so many cameos, you know. Yeah. I did Power of One mm. with uh, Izu, Izu uh, Juku mm. and Two Faces production. Mm. Um, I mean, I've been, I did um, Wise on Strike. Mm. You know, I've been in so many, but they're all like, they've all been like cameos. Uh, she's the one that Omami and mm. Waji did recently. Mm. Okay. I was yeah. in that. Mm. Um, but this is like the first major film. Mm. But it came to me, the script came as a stage play. Mm. It came as a stage play. And um, I guess maybe that's why Bolani called me, because she, she, she had seen me mm. on stage in Hereward. Mm. Mm. And uh, I went for the audition. I wasn't supposed to read for Mokwelola. Mm. Holloway, that's the character I yeah. play. Mm. I was supposed to read for like a minor-ish kind of part. But by the time we started reading, she said, Elvina, you know what? Read for Mukwelola. And mm. I started reading for her, and, and, and that yeah. was it. And then after the script reading, she was asking people, you know, what do you think, blah, 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 blah. So we were talking about it, and we, was, you know, we said, ah, this thing is looking more like a screen. You know, it would be sweet as a film, mm -hmm. you know? And she went, hmm. And, and you know, it. once she gets an idea into her head, she's that kind of person. She's going to carry it through. She goes, yeah, <laughs> this would be nice as a film. Okay, let's so. talk about the business part, because we're talking about harnessing uh, the potentials and empowering the youth. Yeah. You had a production company twice. Do you still have it? Yes, twice is nice. So, yeah. Talk to us about the production, um, the business aspect of the creative industry in Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Is it really lucrative? It is. It is, but you really have to know your onions. Mm. And you really have to know where your priorities are, lie rather, and what kind of audience you're trying to, to, to get to. I believe that cinema is particularly difficult because we don't even have the distribution. When I say distribution, if you look at a place like London, mm. in one area only, let's say Leicester Square, mm -hmm. I think there are more cinemas in Leicester Square yeah, yeah. than there are in the whole yeah. of Nigeria. Yeah. And then the second issue with cinema is that we don't really have a middle class in Nigeria. Our middle class is small. We have and we have. Mm. But this part, that, you know, in England, in America, even in the Western world, there's a lot of people in that. Most, most of the population are in that middle part, class. that middle part. The people that can afford, you know, to pay 10 pounds to take you know, their days out, you know, every mm. weekend. But in Nigeria, it's either you're here looking from somebody's, you know, you're looking through somebody's window mm -hmm. and trying to watch their mm. Africa magic, magic, or you're buying the, the pirated ones mm. on the streets. Mm. It's either you're doing that or you're up there mm. and you're saying, oh, gosh, I'm not going to so, watch. So how can you develop uh, a model that is viable for an economy like you've pointed out now and still make money? Well, as it is... It's getting better. I think we need more cinemas. I think we need to somehow find a way of cutting down. I know it's very difficult, but cutting down on the cost of tickets. You know, maybe having special days. You know, maybe on a Wednesday. Well, how about half already? They do that, but then, but then they keep increasing. It's increased yeah. again. Because yeah. I know there was one time, Silverbird Mondays, you had like 1,000 naira mm -hmm. and you could have popcorn mm -hmm. and whatever. I don't think it's like that anymore. I think it's gone up again. Mm. But um, it's, like I said, it's a very difficult um, situation mm. when you have a full-blown cinema. Maybe you can do things like screenings mm. at the beach mm. or something where people pay 500 naira, mm. you know, but then you have to talk about who has the rights mm. to the movie and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But I think where it's really lucrative in the business right now is in TV. Mm. I really think, especially when you talk about reality TV or mm. like a series, mm. shows like Battleground and mm. I can never pronounce it, Achoche, Ach Ach yeah. you know, shows like that, Big Brother, of course mm. we know, mm. you know, everybody watches Big Brother. So I think the money really is in TV, even though movies are making money at the cinema. Okay, in less than 30 seconds, what should people look out for? The bling, bling, go, share, and <laughs> bah, bah, bah. 
car. 30 seconds, that's enough. I know. <laughs> amazing cast, mm -hmm. amazing directing, great uh, picture quality, great story, lessons to be learned. You laugh, you will cry, mm. but most of all, you will think. Very punchy Just line. for your birthday. From what I gather, I just wanted a blinged birthday. <laughs> well, Interesting. I promise you, there's much more to it than that. Okay. You have Fingers to go crossed. watch it. We'll go watch it. We'll Thank you it. so much for being here. Yeah. Thank LV you Nat, for having April. me. It's been such a pleasure. It's in the cinema already, right? Of yes. course. It was okay. on 28th everywhere. Yeah. Every and we have cinema. to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's been the show. I'm Adeso Almoran. I'm Rafael Yusei. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.